So we have a, a watertight building. We have the windows in, and we have the roof pretty much on, but it, it's certainly nearly, well, it's watertight. We, we're still missing our roof lights. They haven't gone on yet, but we've got some insulation over the top of the, those openings. And so we've been able to drop inside and start doing uh, first fix, uh, plumbing, electrics, and crucially the mechanical ventilation heat recovery. And you can see uh, all of these bright red ducts that are snaking their way around the ceiling. That is the distribution pipe work for the, the MVHR. So the way that works is it extracts warm, moist air from the kitchens, the bathrooms, utility room, puts it through a heat exchanger to preheat filtered fresh air that is then blown into the sitting rooms, the snug, the bedrooms. So you're stripping the heat in the building to preheat fresh air as you ventilate it. So it's, it's a really good uh, system. And, and actually this one does a little bit more than that, which I can explain in a second what that is. But we're using a semi-rigid ducting system and they are these ovals uh, of, of, of plastic, which you can see you bend around and they run in a continuous length from the various outlets back to a main distribution box and then into the MVHR unit, which means that there's very little opportunity for air leakage. It means they're quite quiet because there's no junctions between you know, flows of air. And the way that we've designed the building is that we have a suspended ceiling. So all of our services here, you can see some hot and cold supply for the kitchen. You can see some first fix electric cabling going in and you can see these red ducts. All of that will be hidden behind a, a suspended ceiling which will cover everything off. It just means that we've got really good access to get all of the kind of the, the smart bit of the building in without trying to thread it around too much structure and then we'll come and sort of offer up a, a structure underneath it. But the main one for us and the main reason we went for that system was for the distribution of the MVHR. And as you can see, it turns into quite a, a chunk of runs. And if you, you come with me through here, so all of the, the various ducts wind their way through the building into here, which is the utility plant room. And they run back into these large plenum boxes, which are then routed off the airflow MVHR unit. And um, we're using an airflow system here, partly because they make, the, they make this flexible duct system, which I'm a, I'm a big fan of, and partly because this is a very high performance sort of passive house certified unit. Uh, so it's very efficient, but also it has a CO2 monitor and humidity monitors in the airflow inside the unit. So if it detects high levels of CO2, which would normally make you think you're in a house where it's all got a bit stale, it will just gently lift the rates of ventilation. So it's quite, um, quite smart like that. And the other thing that we're, we're bringing into this system is over here, which is a brine heat exchanger. So we have got 100 metres of cable pipe going into the ground, and that is going to be full of a salty liquid, a brine, and that is then pumped round through this heater matrix here, which means that as the air is sucked in off the roof, it comes through this box, and, and this is the clever bit, is that below ground, normally it's about 13 degrees all year round. If you go down a metre or so below ground, it's normally about 12, 13 degrees all the time. Now, that's very useful. At the moment, it's about five or six degrees outside. So when you're bringing that air in, it's very, very cold. What this unit does is it pumps brine through the ground, stripping the heat, if you like, out of the ground at this time of the year, so that the air is then preheated to about 13 degrees before it hits the heat exchanger here, which means that you lose less energy as you're shipping your, your stale air out of the building. And where it gets really nice is that in summer, well, when it's 25 degrees outside and you're trying to keep the air fresh inside, but effectively bringing in air that is too warm, well, it's 13 degrees down there under the ground and the heat exchanger is then cooling the air that comes into the building. So it's using the bank of ground out there, if you like, as a heat buffer. So it stops very high temperatures or very low temperatures and just evens out the air temperature coming into the building in those extreme times to make the 
the unit run more efficiently. So it's a pretty low tech piece of uh, kit really because it's not using a, an air, you know, a, a refrigerant heat exchanger. It's literally just pumping brine through the ground and through a series of small pipes that the air flows over. So, and it only runs when the temperature is outside certain boundaries and it, it would benefit from being either warmed or cooled. So again, you know, really nice smart bit of kit. So that's partly why we've, uh, well, the main reason why we specified this system.